Is Banzoogle really any good for creating websites for musicians? Well, let's talk about it. What's up, guys? This is Omari with No Nonsense Music Marketing, the number one place for music business and industry advice online. If you are not subscribed already, click that subscribe button because if you don't, you're going to miss out on key information for your music career, such as today's video. A lot of artists know that Banzoogle is a popular website builder for musicians. However, should you really be going with them? It's going to depend. So I'm not here to rag on Banzoogle at all. I, um, you know, I've, I've talked to them before, um, but I never really worked out any deal with them. So we don't have any affiliate link with them at all. Uh, we don't use their service. Uh, and I believe for them, you have to use their service to even have an affiliate link. So this, if you want to use it, by all means, just go to bandzoogle.com. We'll probably have a link in the description section. Uh, but we're not affiliated with them. Um, but this is just going to, even if we were, I'm just going to give an unbiased review uh, because we, uh, obviously, if you have watching this video, you've probably been to our website, omrmc.com, and there's a lot of websites that we've helped artists build so we know the ins and outs especially from a marketing perspective a lot of times artists when they're looking at websites they're just looking at it from an artistic perspective and not necessarily knowledgeable about all the marketing aspects and sales aspects of things so fans google is not bad but it just can't do some things that other websites can do because it's it's more of an all-in-one solution. So before I show you uh, my screen and the real difference between this one and a more full website builder, uh, that's that's essentially the meat and potatoes of what I'm going to show you is that a uh, whenever you don't do an all-in-one solution, meaning that Banzoogle, you can't really do many add-ons like there's not going to be as many features that you can add on to the service because it's an all-in-one solution kind of like click funnels if you've ever heard of them they're just an all-in-one solution which is nice for people if you don't want to like go find your own email service provider go find your own pop-up builder go find your own uh, website theme like you just get the templates that they give you and you build your website that way however you do lose a lot of options when you do things that way so one uh small example before we get to the screen is that let's say that you do want a pop-up builder for a website like whenever you leave a website many of you go to com if you uh, have left the website. If you go there for the first time and then you leave the website, there's probably going to be a pop-up of some sort that's going to have a good headline that tries to grab your attention and get you to take a certain action. If you go with one of these all-in-one website builders and they don't have that functionality or like the, the pop-up builder is just way more limited than a custom pop-up uh, builder would be, you might lose out on a lot of leads because our pop-up gets tons and tons of leads uh and we would lose out on that if we went with an all-in-one builder but let's let's go to the screen here and look at banzoogle so their pricing is for the pro version is 1663 a month and um the unless you just need a basic basic website uh which is 10 pages 10 tracks and 100 photos you probably want to go with a higher option um if you're if you're somebody who's serious about their music at all, you, you want custom fonts, video headers, um, everything that comes with the pro option, you're going to want like the mailing list. You, you only get 100 subscribers on that mailing list. And if you're if you're getting a website, you want to be feeding that Instagram traffic, any Instagram ad traffic, Facebook ads, TikTok ads, Snapchat ads, uh, Google ads, YouTube ads. You want to start feeding a lot of that traffic to your website so that you keep those subscribers and you keep the data uh, and a hundred's just not going to cut it. A thousand's not going to cut it. So really, you're, if you want to scale up at all, a thousand's not going to cut it. Uh, so you, you really want to get the pro version, which is it's around 200 bucks a year. So 1663 a month um, if billed annually, 20 bucks a month if billed monthly. 
and looking at around 200 bucks a year to 240 bucks a year and that's the pricing uh for the pro version now let's go to the builder and so you guys can see uh some of the things that i'm talking about so let's edit content here and they do have a trial version which is nice so you get to test it out a little bit before you decide if you want to buy it or not um however the it's just a lot of limitations uh even even for the style of the builder so this is not drag and drop they their builders on the left hand side um it's it's not like it's the hardest thing in the world like you can still make changes with this and adjustments but it's not a it's not a drag and drop truly customizable website builder you can do they have these little options over here like add signups to group free download um so you can go and it, even even with this it's not the most intuitive so i just hit like this free download button and it's telling me to go select a download i would have to go find what section in uh, my dashboard here i would have to go uh, put the downloads and uh, figure it out that way not the hardest thing in the world like there's tutorials everywhere whichever website builder you go with you may probably have to watch some sort of tutorial uh for especially for any like advanced stuff you will have to go watch tutorials on them but if you have a good eye for design uh I, i'll say you know even unbiased opinion that you're probably not gonna go with bandzoogle you really want a more full website builder um even like changing the background image let's say you want to change the background image on this it's not exactly like the the most efficient way if i want to like change the dimensions of this image or add some cool effects to it uh so on and so forth it doesn't have the most options for it so let's change that a little bit right but let's say i want to add in another image on top of this image might have to go make a custom image and upload that one rather than being able to do it right in the website builder uh so if if you just want to make a basic website and just need to get one done bandzoogle not a bad option uh it might it's for some people uh and they do have if you don't want to go piece everything together, like you don't want to go get your own mailing list and your own, like you don't want to like piece it all together, uh, which is the option that I'm going to show you, then this is okay. They're they're branded for musicians. They're focused on the musician needs, so you can you can get stuff done there. However, if you want more options, such as what we have going on here at marmacy.com you do want to get yourself a WordPress website. So not even, not Wix, not Squarespace. Uh, you want WordPress because WordPress is open source, meaning that the most builders are going, going to be building on WordPress. So if there's, there's a website builder like Wix, it's one, it was built kind of off of WordPress technology, uh, but it doesn't have as many freelance builders on it. Like, let's say that you want a custom form builder, which we have on OmarMC.com. So we'll go to one of our custom forms here so you can just see what I'm talking about. Uh, it's, it's one thing to just have a form builder on your website. It's another to be able to make custom forms. So ours is a bit more custom. Like, we, we pay for our form builder because... We want to be able to do things like have all these different options available in one, um, like get way more complex and send custom emails to our, our promo team. Like whenever somebody orders a specific, specific option on our website, let's say they click this one, this one, and this one, we can send all those directly to the right person using conditional logic um within this form we can even have these images here you know these 3d looking images um uh, step page uh pagination i don't even know if i'm saying that correctly uh, it might be pagination that is essentially creating several pages within the same form letting people have like this little step-by-step -step builder here uh so all those all those little things 
do make a difference when it comes time for conversions, which is what you want to be focusing on if you're a serious musician, such as your ticket sales, your merch sales. You want to be able to know to the nitty gritty details what your conversion rate is on something because all these little things, uh, such as even having an image on here, an image of Spotify promo versus just a text saying Spotify promo, you may get a conversion bump just by having the image there. So as you grow your business, let's say you start to do $5,000 a month or $10,000 a month as a musician, bumping up your conversion percentage by half a percent is huge. Like that's that's giving yourself a pay raise. You don't have to go ask anybody for a pay raise uh, or try to get a bunch of different streams on Spotify, even though you should be doing that as well. Uh, but you want to be able to test different things on your website so that uh, you you know exactly how to to earn yourself more money using your website design. So all those little things that I'm mentioning that you don't think are a big deal, uh, they do end up being a big deal. Now we use um, this is pieced together, right? So we have a central theme. WordPress is a content management system, or, or the think of it like layers. So we have our hosting company, which is HostGator. We'll have a link in the description section uh, for all these resources. So we use HostGator to host the files. We use WordPress to kind of organize the files. And then we use a theme called Optimized Press to present the files. That's the easiest explanation I'll give of it. So instead of just having like one Banzoogle and that's what we see with it, we do have to buy several different things. So HostGator is a hosting website um, that inside of their WordPress is going, you're just gonna have like a one click install of WordPress. And we're not gonna go over how to build a website step by step in this video. Uh, we're just kind of giving you the options of which one to choose. Um, and I'll open up the optimized press builder while we're in here. But it, it might take a second to pull it up, but maybe we'll edit around that. The the thing to, to notice with this is that Optimized Press is going to be a layer inside of WordPress. And whenever you're choosing a theme, you really want to choose the one that's easiest to build with and that also it's, just, it's taking something very hard and making it very easy. Banzoogle's trying to do the same thing, but they, they just boil down the basic features of what you need, whereas WordPress opens that up to all of the different themes and, and options that you would need. All right, so now that we're here inside of um, our, our website builder, you can see that this is a bit different than the Banzoogle one. So it'll have this drag and drop section over here. We're using Optimized Press 3. Like I said, we'll link to it in the description section. It's it's just far more custom. Like if I want to add a different section in here, a different row, a different column, like this is one column, two columns, I can add another column in over here just by clicking and dragging this. I can add my image. Uh, feature blocks, opt-in forms, videos, login, sign-up forms, contact forms. Uh, like I said, we have a custom uh, builder, so we use Gravity Forms for ours. But if I wanted to just use their contact form, I can have that in here. Uh, you got audio player, uh, arrows, Calendly embeds. You want to start to charge people to book one-on-one -on -one consults with you or one-on-one -on -one, you know, fan meetings, virtual meetings. You can do that with Calendly right in here. If you want to have your credit card, um, if you want to accept payments, they hook up directly with Stripe. So very easy to do within here. If you want to have a countdown uh, timer, Google Maps for your shows, showing people exactly where to go with Google Maps, FAQ section. Like it's just far more customizable than only going with a band Google. And on top of that, like I said, if you want to do anything extra, like let's say that they don't have one section within here, like a really cool feature that you wanted, such as they do have pop-ups. Like they do allow pop-ups by doing the uh, pop overlay. But 
let's say that you wanted to make that far more efficient and just have a one size not a one size fits all but like a custom pop-up builder that you control which pages it goes on in a much more efficient way let's say i have you know amarmc.com does have like 500 pages or probably more than that uh and i don't want to go through every page and do the pop-up builder then i would use something like uh, opt-in monster to be able to do that in a much more efficient way and i can do that with wordpress if i'm using a service like bandzoogle i can't really do that uh, or even uh, a Wix or a Squarespace. They may have different solutions, but they're not going to have as many plugins on as, min- on as much cutting edge technology as WordPress is going to. So most websites on the internet, not most websites, but the highest percentage of websites on the internet do use WordPress. It's somewhere north of like, I think the last, last number, I don't want to pull it out of my butt. So <laughs> let me see. Uh, WordPress. Let's search it. What? percentage of websites are WordPress. Oh, it was higher than I thought. The 37%. So 37% of websites use WordPress. And like I said, guys, it's going to depend on which option you want to use, but that's going to be my suggestion. So Shoot us any questions you have in the comment section. We'll do our best to help you guys out. But it, we're going to recommend going with a WordPress website. If that all looks too hard for you, you can always go to omarbt.com and check out our website design and management service. Uh, we are professional marketers, which means we're going to design a website a lot differently than a solo artist would just because we have a marketing mind. We're going to add in all these little different elements that help you get the most conversions Uh, which at the end of the day should lead to the most revenue for your music business. So with that, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button if you thought this was helpful and share it with another musician so that they can make the right decision on their websites and uh, growing their music business. I'll catch you in the next video.